Leo, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is an energy reading. It is not a horoscope. So I'm intuitively picking up on the energies using oracle cards, um, which means this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, Jupiter, wherever Leo energy influences your chart, you can apply these themes for the next week or so. Whenever this video comes to you is the right time. I don't put dates on my videos anymore because people don't need them. So um, uh, know though that I do upload a new video for Leo every single week. There's a lot of content that is video specific here, uh, Leo specific here. So please do click subscribe. You'll help the channel grow and uh, you can get notified when I upload, as soon as I upload. Um, I'm going to start here with the Oracle card reading, Leo. And then of course, there's always an extended, which helps to expand upon, articulate and personalize um, the energies that we pick up on here in the Oracle card reading. And that of course also includes your romance specific reading. Let's go. I know that's a big introduction, but thank you. Thanks for hanging with me guys. Let's get into this energy. Um, let's get into this energy. Leo, please, Leo, Leo, Leo. I'm telling you guys, it's a surprise. I don't really know what's going to happen with you guys. Um, lots of energy coming out for you though. Uh, it seems like you knew. You knew exactly what was coming. Uh, I need a ground. There you go. Oh, shit. Here we go. Clear out the clutter. This is the energy that's crowning your reading. What this energy tells me is frog energy. It's sort of maturing Cancerian energy, which means that there's a letting go of stress, of a hurt, heartache, suffering, pain, learning how to let it go, learning how to take care of and clean up any kind of karmic patterns that you've been a part of or any kind of ongoing pain or circumstance or situation that you took too much personal responsibility for or you let go too long. You let the suffering go too long. You're now acknowledging it, seeing it, and taking care of it. That's what your crowning energy is. Um, being ready to let go. It's not just about letting go, Leo. It's about being ready to let go. Emotionally, you're understanding that your position is more wonderful than you could have ever realized. Think about a tadpole turning into a frog. At first, it may seem like those legs are burdensome, but they allow it to do so much more than just the flappy tail. And now you're not subject to just the tides and ripples of whatever is happening in the pond. You can decide where you want to go and you can go on land. You can jump on land whenever you need to. You're starting to see the blessings in the new life that you have and the new person that you've become. You're starting to see that even though the change and transition was a little scary and it was a little difficult for you, you're actually now able to navigate two different realms or two different places or areas that you, um, um, that you, that you thought would be a burden. You're starting to see the good. You're starting to see the good where once you only saw the, um, uh, the change, right? But this is definitely the change has happened. It could be that now you're living in two different states or you're commuting a lot or, or just finding your rhythm and the goodness in this new life that was once a little bit, you know, it, it's like, it's like, what's a good example? It's like, you're ready. You know, it's like, it's like if you have to commute four hours a day or you're traveling between two different states, it was once such a burden. And now you're saying no, because I can, I can, uh, I can do this here. I can do that there. I have two homes instead of one. It's, it's yes, there is a sense of just like finding a way to make what was uncomfortable, comfortable. And you're letting that emotional pain or that emotional um, attachment to what was, you're letting it drop away. Oh, okay. Um, here we have spirit has your back. So you're the one you're building something. This is it. This is Capricornian energy. You're the one creating the structure. You're the leader. You're taking the lead. This is a position that you own very, very well. This could be United States government. This could be working for the government. This could be working in an official capacity. You like being in charge. This could be, you know, taking advantage of some sort of governmental job that takes you out of town and away from your family. But it's a, it's a level up. It's an opportunity. It's spirit blessed. It's going to help change and 
it's a, it's a change for you. It's a transition for you. But simultaneously, it, it fills you up with pride. You like being in this position. You like being in the lawmaking position. You like being in the leadership position. This could be your own business. This could be you heading up a company. This could be you being the CEO of something. You're setting the tone and you're setting the structure and it's divinely blessed. You're bringing your ideas to life. Uh, two plus four, this could be somebody falling in love with you the way that you wanted them to fall in love with you. Or uh, finally, uh, people seeing things your way or realizing how good your ideas are. This is finally making that breakthrough into um, the, the institutional breakthrough. It's like you got nothing but flack beforehand, but now it's like all of a sudden you're approved of and your ideas and what you bring to the table are being respected and appreciated. You love the chaos. This is Sagittarius energy, having fun and being playful, but really being able to, um, Fox energy is the energy of be, remain flexible. Uh, and stay on your toes. You're going to still have to improvise. Be ready to improvise. This is also Sagittarius energy. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. They could be following your lead. They could be really admiring you and looking at you from afar or jumping on board and being your uh, co-captain. Um, but this is definitely the energy of the atmosphere, that Sagittarian atmosphere really working for you. Oh, 623. Happy birthday, Doug Denny. It's my son's birthday. I say that every time I see it. Um, <sighs> yeah, um, there's just this, um, I think it almost feels like somebody's watching you become very powerful. That's what I feel. Like there is somebody, a weaker but admiring energy that is watching you become extremely powerful. And they almost like, they, they need to stand back and wait for you to become official because they're too scared to just jump on the bandwagon by themselves. But simultaneously, they admire you and want you. Um, watch your words. This is the energy. This is your central energy. This is nine. Something's coming to a head. Something's coming out. You will be very, very tempted to pop off at people and say exactly what you want to say. Words are very powerful and people listening will hear them forever. They will, it will settle in their bones. There's a very sensitive person I feel in your life that is listening and that will remember it emotionally. This could also have to do with words or energies or actions that somebody else pulled with you that you are finally able to let go of, but it, it made you suffer. And it's almost like maybe that's why you know or how important words can be and how much, how long they can stay with people. Uh, this is just a caution, like at the center of your energy, watch your words. So it's you making the choice to be very careful with the things that you say and who you say it around. You know that somebody is a little bit sensitive and you also know um, that you don't want to be a parrot. You don't want to be in the energy of just saying whatever somebody else wants to hear, you don't want to fall into that rut either. Hmm. Um, surrender now. More, more. There's so much Sagittarian energy on the board right now. You've got to be dealing with some sort of Sagittarius. This is, um, you could be getting in a tangle or disagreements with a Sagittarius. You could be getting very frustrated with them or people who have Sagittarian like energy who just say exactly what's on their mind and they don't think about the consequences. You could be putting this person into, into, um, into their place. Um, this is surrender now. Surrender now is just giving yourself over to the moment, even when this is my moth to the flame card, surrendering to the moment, just, just going right into it and trusting that you're going to come out okay and not worrying if you're going to get burned. You're just, you're just launching yourself right at the flame. Um, you got a lot of confidence. Miracles are endless. Leo, this is, everything is going to work out for you. It's a surefire way to be acknowledged and to be appreciated. Abundance coming into you and you got, you're, in other words, you're going to be safe. You're going to get through the flame. You're not going to get burned by it. Uh, you're going to be acknowledged. This is acknowledgement. This is finally something working out for you. Know your worth. Um, owning who you are. Loving who you are. Um, being acknowledged for who you are. And most importantly, not having to mimic or be like anybody else or pretend to be something you're not just to fit in. Ooh. Um, 
This is your grounding energy we're going into now. Learn from the past. So this is elephant spirit. Uh, two plus five is seven. Something that you've created over time. You, In other words, you earned where you are right now. You earned getting here at this space in time, Leo. It took you a long time, maybe the past seven years, to work your butt off to be at this level and to be finally acknowledged by your peers the way that you are. You worked very, very hard um, and you didn't give up. There's this Taurus energy that is stubborn and steadfast and reliable coming through and helping you push through all the chaos and all the craziness, making sense out of your world for you. This is tenacity and reliability and also um, um, maturity, maturity. Uh, oh, time for a deep dive in love. This could be a Taurus in your life that you're in love with, that somebody that's held you, or somebody very Taurus-like that has Earth energy, could be Earth, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, um, or just anybody in your life that has held you down. It's somebody that's close to your heart space, somebody that's loved you for a very long time. With this energy of elephant, could be a mother, right? It could be a mother that's loved you for a very long time and always supported you and been your rock and your savior. Could be some sort of mother, your mother, your children's mother, this energy of somebody who was your grounding energy and kept reminding you, help, this is a person who helped you never forget your value, helped you never forget that they love you and that you were worth it. This was a constant support to you. And there is always enough. This is Piscean energy. Somebody with once again, nine, you're getting a lot of nines. So something is coming to the surface. Something is being realizing that you may be the one that's acknowledging this person who's loved you like crazy. And you're just realizing it's like you're being very cautious with your words. Um, or you're finally saying to them what they've needed to hear or you think that they deserve to hear for a long time. You're giving them all the, the appreciation that they really deserve or the people are giving you the appreciation that you really deserve. But it's got to do with this centered energy that loved you unconditionally and it seemed to ground you and it seemed to have no end. Be absolutely limitless in its abundance of giving to you, caring about you, uh, understanding you and in a very Pisces way, this is like um, all the best of each signs, like Taurus energy, steadfast and true um, um, and reliable, um, Libra energy, loving, caring, putting partnership first and uh, being compromising and then Piscean energy, being unconditionally loving, absorbing it all, being non-judgmental, somebody who has an abundance of resources to constantly give you. This is a, a celebration time, a time where you can bring that person along with you. Um, maybe, maybe they're leveling up. Maybe it's that your spouse is a, getting a job promotion, uh, taking the burden of the um, taking the burden of the leadership of the family unit or whatever off of your hands, you're celebrating them. You're um, telling them how proud you are. And that's why you want to be very particular about how you treat this situation and what you say, because you do want to say what's on your mind and you want to express very clearly how much you love them and how much you care about them. Um, Lots of energies floating around, but it's all positive. I'm going to flip the camera around so we can review the cards. Hold on. Okay. We basically have a perfect spread. And interestingly enough, it just fell out that perfectly. So it feels like everything is falling into perfect synchronicity into place for you, Leo. There was a lot of chaos in your life. A lot of um, people talking down to you, people talking you know what about you. There was a lot of... There was a lot of chaos at one time, maybe a lot of moving around, a lot of uncertainty, um, maybe it requiring you to constantly be on the move. Um, but now, um, and, and it, it did bring a lot of abundance into your life. Um, but now there is a sense of um, appreciation and love toward whoever held you down during that moment of your life. Um, because there is a, a, there is a celebration here. That's what's happening of a finally being able to let go, um, of any kind of need 
to maybe hold on to those things that made you feel comfortable in the past. Maybe those things uh, that made you feel like you remained in control in the past. You are ready to acknowledge uh, other people for the value that they've placed in your life. And this is also you getting rid of all the things that clutter and muck up your space. You know what you need and what you don't need in your life now. This is, what is this? I want to give you a little bit less of a general reading and just say that it's, it's, um, it's this central energy that was really getting to me. How are you talking? How are you speaking, Leo? Are you speaking with confidence about yourself? Have you... It's almost like you've just become aware of how somebody speaks about you or how you speak about them and how it is emotionally affecting you. And this is about letting that go. This is about confronting it and forgiving it and also learning from it so that you only get positive messages in your life. This may be something that you had to let go of a long time ago, something that you took into your leadership or your, your life with you, even your success with you. This is, this is how do you speak about yourself? This could also be having lost a person that you love a great deal, who used to always make you feel good about yourself, who always talked about you. It's like they taught you how to talk about them, about they taught you how to talk about yourself. They taught you how to take care of yourself, how to value yourself, how to love yourself. And it could very well be, I don't think that somebody's passing away now, but a loss of them a while back was something that you are just confronting now. Because there's a lot of chaos in your life, but also a lot of opportunities. You need more than ever, Leo, to be speaking to yourself correctly and, and really believing in who you are. I know everybody thinks that you are always arrogant, but I don't agree with that. There's Everybody is capable of being insecure at times. And this isn't about full-blown um, um, insecurity. This is about you repeating things and not realizing those things were something that somebody else, a script that somebody else put into your mouth. And I think it's you just realizing that a lot of things, even harsh things or chaotic things, abrasive things, were words that you learned a long time ago in your life and you didn't even realize that they'd taken over your mouth. And now you do and you're throwing them away. You feel too good about yourself, and you've been reminded of your value so much that you don't have, you could, you, you could realize that script, that negative script that's been not just in your life and how you talk about yourself, but also how you talk about others. You're finally understanding it and seeing it because it may be hurting or have hurt somebody that you really care about and you really love, cause a lot of chaos and craziness. So it's like being that recognition is, is, is everything because it's, it's changing. It's putting order to the chaos. It's admitting you're, you were wrong. It's healing. It's allowing those old wounds to heal. And the, mo the beauty of you is really coming out because you've gotten rid of whatever was superimposed on you by your past, right? And your, your, your first act of duty is to honor and acknowledge the love of somebody else. And how good somebody else has been to you. This is, this is really somebody holding you down with, through love and through unconditional giving. Somebody who's really helped to change your life and make you realize um, how to be a better person. And in a way, this is your way of celebrating them. Is learning how to speak to others through how they spoke to you. That may, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm going to extend this reading. This is actually a really beautiful reading. We'll see what more personal uh, messages come out over in the extended. And we're going to go into your romance reading. Leo, the link is below. I'll see you in the extended.